2022 was a banger of a year for mini PCs with more choice than ever before. In the dark early days, there were very few options to choose from. And you'd probably be deciding which Intel NUC variant would best meet your needs. But now, there's a whole heap of Intel and AMD variants with tiny budget minis all the way up to larger gaming units. This year, Intel even made its first full-size desktop PC and called it a NUC. There's something for everyone. That being said, there were some stinkers as well this year. While the minis on this list definitely aren't perfect, they represent the better end of the mini PC spectrum. All my top picks have in-depth individual reviews detailing the good and bad if you're interested in finding out more. The ASRock Deskmeet B660 was a pleasant surprise. A tiny box with a full-size power supply. It's still able to fit a decent graphics card up to an RTX 3060 Ti. Well, from EVGA anyway. Best of all is its price. For as low as 190 US dollars, you get the box, power supply, and motherboard. Add your own DDR4 memory, storage, OS, and 12th or 13th gen Intel CPU, and you've got a cool mini PC. Be aware, you may need a BIOS update to boot a 13th gen CPU out of the box. And if you don't like Intel, there's an AMD variant available. The Deskmeet B660 is a nice first effort from Azeroth, but it does have its flaws, such as limited cooler support, and a VRM that can't handle a lot of CPU power. But if you throw in something like an i5-12400 with an RTX 3060, you've got a cheap, powerful 8-liter mini PC with minimal building skills required. But I do recommend checking out my review first before you consider buying it, just so you know its limitations. The i5 Intel NUC 12 Pro was my favorite of the NUC bunch this year. But the same old design is definitely getting old and tiresome. A higher price tag for the Pro models makes them less attractive, and a lack of DDR5 support no longer has Intel on the bleeding edge of tech. That being said, you get the very fine Intel build quality and dual Thunderbolt 4 ports. In the tall unit, which I recommend, you can also fit three storage drives, if you can find the elusive 2242 SATA SSD. Cooling and noise improved over last year, but still isn't enough compared to some other mini PCs. The i5 NUC 12 Pro is a good unit, just not great, and is part of a disappointing NUC mini PC lineup from Intel this year. AMD's 6000 series mobile processors have brought massive gains in the graphics department, thanks to RDNA 2 graphics. And the Ryzen 9 6900HX performs right at the top, with up to 100% better performance in games than the previous generation. 1080p modern gaming is now reality on a mini PC this size. New additions also include PCIe Gen 4, DDR5 and USB 4 support, which is basically a Thunderbolt 3 port. While I'm completely sold on the AMD CPU, neither of the two minis I reviewed were a slam dunk. At 599 US dollars for the bare bones, the Morphine M600 6900HX is definitely not cheap. But that extra 100 US dollars over the Mini's Forum UM690 nets you a nice aluminium alloy box, dual M.2 Gen 4 slots, and a chunky CPU cooler with very little fan noise. Unfortunately, the same can't be said for the NVMe drives. There's no cooling to speak of. The included vertical stand with both units is nice, but the rubber feet covering the screws is not, especially if you're planning to open them at any point in the future. Both Mini's BIOS was not up to scratch out of the box, and there's some questions about what's getting through quality assurance. But even taking that into account, I think they're pretty good Mini PCs. If you're buying a bare bones, I'd lean towards the Morphine M600. But for a pre-build, you'll definitely be better off with the Mini's Forum UM690, which is $150 cheaper. Whatever you choose, you'll experience very impressive performance in such a small form factor. The gaming focus Mini's Forum Neptune HX90G is pretty good value with not a whole lot of competition in this field. While I think it's an ugly floating plastic box, that's got nothing to do with its bang for buck performance. And this mini PC can play the latest games no problem, as long as you don't crank up the detail or resolution too high. The HX90G is another mini PC that is impressively quiet for the amount of power on offer, with a large heatsink and plenty of heat pipes. It's got a good set of ports on it, 
and is my gaming mini PC of the year. Oh, I should also point out the bare bones didn't come with any thermal pads for the NVMe drives, but the pre-build option is competitively priced. The HX90G comes recommended if you want something small and powerful. The B-Link Sur 5 Ryzen 5560U impressed me with its performance, cooling and noise levels. This was easily the best bang for buck unit I've seen from a mini PC this year. Well, if we ignore the Black Friday sales. It's fully pre-built for $370 US. That includes 16GB of RAM, a 500GB NVMe drive and Windows 11 Pro. This mid-range mini PC has plenty of grunt for most users. It draws very little power. The Sur 5 performed consistently, is really quiet and even allows for some light gaming. There was no doubt in my mind it would be my number one pick based on its value proposition. So congratulations B-Link, you win the Robtech Annual Mini PC Award. I look forward to seeing the range of mini PCs in 2023 and follow me to find out what's hot and what's not. But before you go, you may have noticed there weren't any budget entries in my top 5. That's because I reviewed 11 of them in 2022 and I thought they deserved their own video, which you should definitely check out here. Cheers!